Hey everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from the Challenge Championship and the Collins Cup. We're brought to you by Master Spas, Hyper Ice, Form Smart Swim Goggles, You Can Hoka One One, Class USA, and of course our Challenged Athletes Foundation. Our next guest, ranked number 10 in the world. She wants to go single digits. Sky Monch joins us. Hi, Bob. How, how are you doing? So good. So good to be here. Part of this historic and just amazingly special event. You know, I, I don't think people are talking enough about that, how unique this is and how special it is. Because, you yeah. know, how often do you get to be involved with the first Ironman or the first Collins Cup? This is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, and that's something that I think is still just kind of sinking in for me. Um, you know, we've been a little busy with media and things, but even that is quite special and out of the ordinary. You know, not right. every race do we have all these interviews and photo shoots and different things. So yeah, it's it's a privilege. And um, yeah, I think as the week goes on, we'll, we'll feel even more how unique this event is. I, I, what's been f interesting to me is out of the lowest lows, pandemic, which yes. means, <laughs> and there was a lot of people going, without events, uh, it's not like I've got a lot of sponsorship dollars and yeah. I don't get those if there's no racing. Mm -hmm. So I, I, can I stay in the sport? Comes this lifeline from uh, the PTO, a mm -hmm. brand new organization, which certainly got a lot of street cred by helping people out really in their moment of need. Yeah, um, I think it would be hard to find a professional triathlete who hasn't benefited. They, uh, the PTO has been very generous and trying to support everyone. So, right. yeah. And in, when you look at Team USA, you know, when we look at <laughs> we look at Team Europe, and we're going, okay, <laughs> then we've got the All Star team. We yeah. got Ferdano and Gustav and Patrick Lange and Daniela and Annie Hogg and Lucy Charles Barkley. You go, okay, the, but the reality is, you still have to race, right? Mm -hmm. Numbers on paper don't and names on paper don't really mean much. Yeah, and the reality is, uh, everyone here is a really great athlete and can hold their own. But you know, we're all still human and. That means um, nothing's guaranteed, but it also means that, you know, we can break through and, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, just have amazing days, so. I also think for you guys, the addition of, for your captain's picks of yeah. Katie Zafaris and, and Taylor Nib, who are coming off uh, Olympic hardware. Yes, <laughs> yes. And coming in with some raw speed is, yeah. is a nice addition, too. Yeah, um, that that's really cool. I I mean I think we're one of the only teams that has two Olympians coming on as their wild cards or yeah. captain's yeah. picks. Um, and Taylor Nib has just already <laughs> proven how amazing she is uh, non drafting. Boulder, yeah. Oh yeah, she uh, she beat me fair and square. So she's she was great. And and then Katie, I mean she's an amazing athlete. It'll be cool to see how she does. But um, I'm just glad there's two women who really know how to swim now <laughs> on the team. See, that's good too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully, uh, you know, that's a good start for us. So with, so Boulder, yes. right? When you yeah. saw Taylor sort of <clears throat> take off on the bike. Just... Yeah. I mean, really, I think we biked close to the same, but, um, you know, she was ahead of me on the swim. Right. So then I just never caught never her. Never saw her, yeah. Yeah. And then she got caught by Emma Pellant Brown yeah. towards the finish. Oh, it's 10K to go or so, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But taking second in her first ever 70.3. On a road bike. On a road bike, yeah. yeah. She's riding a road bike here. I know. I figured she, why would she change? It's working for her. All right, not. She's, yeah, <laughs> coming off of, what, second in Montreal, first in Edmonton. And so yeah. she's on a little bit of a roll right now. So having. Keep it coming. Yeah, right? Yeah. It, 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 this whole team atmosphere, like. Katie and Taylor basically have been together in Tokyo yeah. for the last month. Mm -hmm. They're used to this, mm -hmm. being on a team. Mm -hmm. You guys aren't. You're sort of free agents. Everybody's sort of one person for themselves. Yeah, and that's one thing that is feeling really cool about this. And again, like we still have a few more days of events. You know, the, the team are, or the matchups are tonight, and we're right. all going to be in our USA. I've got my shirt on now, but like we're all going to be in our same kit. And um I think that's something that, yeah, we're not used to. Usually we're all in our own colors, our own sponsors. And now, right. you know, we're all united. We're all going to be in the same kit, um, same uniforms, all that kind of just throughout this week. So, yeah, it's cool. And it's it's fun to get to know some of these people on the team that right. I don't. Right. You might not have raced against or met before. Yeah, or have spent as much time with. Um, you know, like Chelsea, I think I only raced her for the first time in Boulder. Okay. Yeah, and then... Yeah, some of the I actually feel like I see Sam Long at every race, so that's nothing <laughs> new. He's, <crazy. laughs> he's a hoop, so uh, yeah, yeah. It's just fun to become better friends with everyone. A absolutely, and you know yeah. the guy side. You know, like you mentioned, Sam Long, Rudy Von Berg has been so consistent over the last yeah. couple of years. Matt Hansen, we saw what he did at Daytona, running, running his yeah. way through the field and getting yeah. second, and 
Benny just won his fourth Alcatraz. So you've got uh, the men's side looks great. And Justin Metzler's been on a roll. <laughs> And Starkey, you never know what the heck you get for Starkey. <laughs> you know. But you know, he's not, it's like most people are like, well, I'm not used to racing, you know, like, by, I'm going to be by myself for a big chunk of this. And I'm like, yeah, that's Starkey the way he's lived. Right? Yeah. Every race off he does, he's off the front somewhere. So, yeah, it'll be really cool. Like, don't, yeah, don't count out Team US. We've, yeah. And it all depends on the matchups. That's what's exciting about this is. Who do you want? Who do you want to match up against? Well, I've been saying all week I really want to beat Kat Matthews because she's beat me our last couple of races we've done. Ah, so the Iron little Man's. grudge match. You yeah, a little after. grudge match. I need to show her that she can't she, just beat me every time. No, you need a little <laughs> payback would be good yeah. from good old USA. Okay, and then how about on the uh, international? You, you know, I haven't raced Ellie Salthouse in years. Ah. Um, you know, I'm a different athlete now than I was when we raced last. It's funny. Ellie was like, oh, I don't think we've ever raced. I'm like, no, we have. I was just so far back. You wouldn't even know I was there. <laughs> <laughs> she was She was really nice about it. But, so, yeah. like you said, you back in the day, you, you weren't as good as you are now. Yeah. What, what changed? Um, well, I think time in the sport helped. I There's a few things, in my opinion, that did it. Yes. You know, just time in the sport um, I kind of took a better look at kind of my overall nutrition and just like recovery and habits and what it takes to be good. And, um, I made a coaching change in 2018 that I think really helped elevate mm -hmm. me and yeah. And just, just figuring it out, I guess. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. You, you mature in a sport, right? You yeah. mature in a sport you yeah. learn a little better. Also you become, uh, with your workouts, you, you figure out what to do and what not to waste time on. Yeah, and I, yeah. That's a big deal, right? Because you, <laughs> we, we tend to go, okay, well, the sun's still out. I should be riding. I should be running. I should be yeah. swimming. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty good at doing what I'm told. Whatever's in training peaks for my coach. So I really? don't overdo it. Yeah, I'm not, like, I run, like, I wouldn't want to do an easy run with an age grouper. They'd make me so tired. <laughs> they run too fast. I like, I like five-minute Ks, eight-minute mile pace. Yeah. You're good with that. Oh, yeah. I don't feel any pressure to go hard, like, if it says go hard, I go hard, but otherwise. So yeah. in your in your career, best race. What's the best race you've had that you <sighs> consider your best race? Best race. Um, I actually think the race I'm most proud of recently was Ironman Tulsa. Um, I think I had my best Ironman swim, and I ran sub three. Oh, that's important. Off the bike for the first time. Yeah, that's like that's a big breakthrough. Yeah. Um, and I think that was definitely coming. Um. It was just putting it all together and just kind of mentally like committing to it and just being like, yeah, I'm doing this. Just kind of no other option. And you pretty much have to run that to be competitive in Ironman now. So yes, you do. Yeah. And like we were saying beforehand, you're ranked 10th in the world. Yeah. But that's not where you want to be. Yeah. I want to let's yeah, let's single. go higher. Yeah. Single digits. 10th is like, I'm almost out of the top 10. You know? so, <laughs> you're almost um, 11th. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looking to improve that um, for sure. So, uh, challenge in 2021, challenge Miami. You were fifth, and Galveston, uh, you win the thing. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you were four ten oh one, and and Jeannie Metzler four eleven eighteen. So there was a little battle there. Well, I didn't know she was getting that close. She ran a one fifteen at yeah, that race. I ran one like a one twenty, yeah, which, no, which is usually is a pretty good run. Yeah, it's not a bad run, but it's not like. Yeah. Anyway, I, did, I had honestly had no idea she was moving so fast because um, Galveston's like a three or four loop run course. Okay. I can't remember. Maybe three. Um, and there's there's a lot of turning and things. So it's not like you can see everyone at every point. Right. So I really, I didn't You're see her. You're running blind. <laughs> I, did, I didn't see her coming. Um, yeah, I had no idea she was gaining so fast. So is it one of those things where you finish and you turn around and you're like, oh my God, where'd she come no, from? Well, yeah, I was like, oh, Jeannie's in second? Like I didn't, <laughs> last I thought, I thought it was like Sophie Watts or maybe yeah. Heather Jackson. I don't know. And just, then she's like a minute something back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, and then I'm, I thought, I remember thinking, oh, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't know she was moving that fast. I'd stress out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I was running hard. I, I didn't want to lose that lead, but. Yes. Now, will you be at St. George? Yeah, I'm planning on it. How can I not? It's, I know, right? It's like a four-hour drive from my house. So well, and also uh, 2016 10th to 17th, 9th, 2019 fourth. Yeah, it's time, right? <laughs> well, this will be a world championship instead of a regional championship this time. But yeah, let's let's move it up. So <laughs> uh, you like the you, you like the deeper fields. You oh like yeah, the, I'm not the, afraid the, of it. No, I'm not right? afraid of it. No, no. and you know St. George is a really. 
Um, honest course, I guess we could say. Yeah, yeah because you you can't <laughs> sit in on a bike there. You've got to no. you've got to ride. And the runs very hard. Like people yes. always. Oh. When people ask me what I think the hardest run course on the circuit is, it's St. George. And actually, I think the World Championship run course is even harder. They're making us do this the biggest hill twice. Really? Yeah. They changed the loop. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna. Now, be, do you still have the five k downhill at the end? Um. No. Like. You know, on the old one, you do an out yeah, and back. Yeah, on this yeah. one, you go up the big hill and then come down and then go up. Like, it's a loop, two loop. Oh. So I mean, maybe, we'll still get some downhill, but it's not the 5K not downhill. Not the 5K all the way to the finish type no, of thing. No, it's going to, it could break some hearts or some legs for sure. <laughs> nice. Um, if you, uh, uh, after that, what yeah. will the rest of your season be? Well, you know, um, we just found out Kona was canceled. Uh, I know. So that definitely changed plans but i think you know I've, I've been talking with my coach i've signed up for actually a couple ironmans i'm planning to do ironman switzerland next weekend next weekend yeah as long as you're in europe well right i'm here and i love switzerland and now i just kind of feel like um you know i didn't do any ironmans over the summer after tulsa because we were right. planning for kona and everything and now i just kind of feel like let's capitalize on the fitness and um we don't know what racing is going to be like next year and yeah and even we for hope the rest of the summer right? <laughs> exactly so i'm kind of just in the mood to race and um that's yeah, perfect well just, this becomes like a great training day it yeah <laughs> this is a i mean i'll be trying very very hard of but course. yes <laughs> no but it's like a time trial you're doing yeah. a, you're doing a time trial with two other people who yeah. are joining you for a workout yeah it's gonna be a great workout <laughs> It's going to be fun. Yeah. What do you think it would mean for the U.S. to sort of surprise some people here and come away with the first Collins Cup? Um, I think that would be huge. Uh, I don't, I think everyone is just like, oh, Europe's just going to crush everyone. But right. um, I think, I think we're in for some surprises for sure. And if the, if Team USA took it, like that would be super exciting for the U.S. and super exciting for me as an athlete to be part of that. And, you know, that team, that team spirit of winning yeah. would be it's sort unreal. Of like, it's sort of our Olympics. Yeah, this it is like long course Olympics. Yeah. Long course Olympics <laughs> right here. Yeah. Trademark. We'll try trademark that. It's yeah. Sky Monch. Yeah, long course Olympics. Long course Olympics. Hopefully we don't get sued by the Olympics for no. telling you that. Oh, yeah, just use that word Olympics. And yeah. Maybe add a couple of little rings. Yeah, I'm exactly. sure they'll be fine with yeah. that. They won't mind that We'll just use three rings for the three teams. It's fine. Oh, see? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And we'll, we'll just, yeah. Olympics with three rings. What what could be, that can't be a, <laughs> That won't be a problem. No I'm one's sure. done it before. No one will ever notice that. Sky, always a pleasure yes. to get to chat with you. Thank you, Bob. And have have fun out there. I will. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> you are the best. Sky Monch again. This is Breakfast with Bob. We are at the Challenge Championship and the Collins Cup. Hold on. We will be right back.